Okay guys, so another quick update. Just drilling and working on this rear plate. And uh, you can see at the moment, I'm just drilling all the holes. So the CNC is drilling all the holes for me. Cut out all these on the first part. And uh, this one's the bearing in there. But uh, I'm making a mess, you can see there's just uh, aluminium everywhere. Bits of uh, filings everywhere. But this is basically what I'm working on at the moment. Hopefully you can hear that. I've got the machine running in the background. But uh, this here, well, you can see all the pockets are being cut. I'm drilling all these holes at the moment. So you can see uh, I've got the tool path set up for drilling. If we uh, play it, I'll speed it up a little bit. You can see it. it's going to go around and do all the holes. So yeah, that's it. So basically um, this one here is a critical size. I'll, that's the bearing spot there, which I've already cut out. This here is the starter motor. The side plates bolt through here. And uh, the uh, rear bearing plate bolts through there. So yeah, pretty straightforward. You can see that the side plates cut. That's it there. So it's coming together. You see I got the um, the gear pulleys sitting in there too, they're not quite lined up, but got the shaft. I'm working on the uh, working on the shaft at the moment. So this is a uh, chrome ollie tube. Hollow shaft so you can run uh, in flight adjustable prop through it. So yeah, pretty uh, pretty straightforward. Nothing really flash about it. We're just uh, machining, machining, more machining. Okay, so I've just realized while I'm uh, doing this and I was doing a bit of filming, I've missed a couple of holes. One there and there for my um, my bearings. So I've got the front uh, bearing carrier and the rear bearing carrier. So what I'm going to do is uh, if I just turn on the front plate, pick up this hole center there. What I'll do is I'll do the other one as well. Hopefully you can see what's going on here. Now I'll just turn this to the side so I can see what I'm doing. And all I need to do is pull that through that back plate. And enter. So there you go, I've just extruded holes from the front plate right through the back plate so they match exactly exactly the same so yeah that's it um, pretty straightforward I will just export that program now um, put it into the CNC machine when this one's finished and we'll drill those last couple of holes so a bit of a long-winded way I should have added them in um, at the at the start but these things happen to get things along the way
working on this last program. Uh, I want to cut this, cut this out. I'm going to leave a couple of taps on it so that uh, once I cut it out, if I leave a couple of tabs around the perimeter, I can just crack them off after. And uh, that way I don't have to move plants or anything like that. So it should be nice and simple. Okay, so these are the tabs I'm talking about here. So they're tiny little tabs. I've only left them about uh, 0.5 or 0.4 thick. So you cut it down and it basically just stops and leaves those tabs so I can um, just uh, crack it off afterwards once I've finished cutting and then just file those down so that's uh, we'll see how that goes get in there I've just uh, finished cutting this I'll just face the back of it just to uh, take out these sides and they will just snap off and then what I'm going to do is throw this in the lathe and just face the back and that hole and we're done on that one and we'll get the next one started. Just, uh, finish the other side of this uh, bearing carrier. So uh, yeah, just all I've got to do now is pull it off, fit the seals into it, bearings into it. That's ready to go for the front uh, front plate and rear plate. All right, guys, one step closer every day. Hopefully, um, you can hear me. Uh, Seeing the machine still running in the background, but uh, this is where we're getting up to. So I've just um, done these bearing carriers. So basically, these tapered roller bearings are going to go in there and then I've got uh, seals front and back so that seal goes in there and then over this side we've got the other seal which seals seals the whole lot so that'll be a tap fit in so seals that and then the shaft I've been working on the shaft as well so uh, that basically will be uh, going in through that way, through the tapered roller bearing. I've got to cut a, uh, a thread just on here. And uh, yeah, we're getting closer, one step closer. So uh, back to machining. Okay, so we're getting there one step closer every day. Here's another look at this, I'm still uh, the end goal. So everything was going great and uh, I've done it again. I've put a hole in the wrong spot. So you can see here, I don't know if you can see it, it's slightly offset, offset from center. I made a boo-boo. Um, Mustn't have been uh, the right dimension when I zeroed it off, but uh, these things happen. Uh, that's it for another crazy episode of Mike CNC Madness. Stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for watching.